was surprised by the difference in style from where I went to modern and contemporary to the rustic. So. Mm. It was a bit of a jump there. I thought I was just going to stick straight with the rustic. And I had a very set idea when I came into it, and that was compromised very quickly. Bathroom, into the lounge room, into the deck and the living room and the bedroom. And everything's so connected. It's so open and so light. Well, I mean, I, I didn't realize I wanted it until I saw it. And it just made me like, what if I, what if I saw twice as many houses? Where would I be? I'm, the possibilities yeah. really endless. Personal changes. I think the experience of hunting for a tiny house has taught us that we don't know it all. You don't know what to expect. <laughs> you don't know what to expect, that's right, yeah. Yeah, so the high ceilings in a tiny house, that was a bit of a surprise. Yeah. All three. Shipping container. Not at all, this doesn't feel like it at all, I mean. Good height, got about 2.9 metres, floor to ceiling. I have never slept in a shipping container before, but. The biggest highlight for me was seeing other people's houses and what they do to utilise in the tiny space. Mm. Take a seat. But before you sit down, go have a look underneath. Oh, no way. Storage. Oh, look at storage. that. That's the key to tiny houses. Oh, yeah? That's magnificent. So it opened my eyes and a lot of doors. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's really bringing the outside inside. So. Tiny house living is the way to go because it's environmentally friendly. Mm. Tiny house living is the future.